If you're looking to look more professional and elevate your email game with a professional email signature, you're in the right place. Because in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to add a professional email signature in Gmail, complete with clickable icon links. This is a must have tool for anyone wanting to leave a lasting impression and boost your credibility as a creator. Stay tuned because I'll be sharing both a beginner friendly method and an advanced version as well that you can tweak to match your unique style. A well-crafted email signature not only adds a personal touch, but it also makes your emails appear more polished helping you build trust with your brands, clients, and your audience. Whether you're sending proposals or outreach emails or just communicating with followers, having a signature that represents you is key. So let's dive right in. Now, the great thing with Gmail is that you can actually create a number of Gmail signatures or maybe you just have one main signature that you use time and time again. But once you've set that signature, it'll auto populate every time you go to compose an email. So anytime you send an email to the person that you're emailing, we'll be able to see this signature and be able to click on your links if they wanna learn more about you or see your social media links, et cetera. So to access the signature setting, you will need to go to the top right hand corner and go to settings by clicking the gear icon, then click see all settings. Then you'll scroll down all the way to where you see signature. You can create a bunch of email signatures depending on who you're sending them to, but for now, we're going to create just one by clicking the Create New button. Now, for the basic signature, you can simply use the space designated in the signature area to format your name in a creative way, whether that's by increasing the font size or the font itself. Maybe you wanna change the color to more of a gray looking color, or maybe you wanna create spaces between each letter. Just something to make your name stand out a little bit more. Then you can maybe write your job title in a smaller font underneath like this. Then underneath that, you can add icon images by uploading your own icons or writing the name of the social media platform and link it to your social media using the link button. So once you've finalized your signature, you need to scroll down all the way to the bottom to save your changes. And when you go back into your compose email section, you'll see that it'll auto populate with that signature if you set it as the default. Now you could just stop here because maybe you feel happy with your email signature, but one of the things that Gmail doesn't do yet is give you the ability to format your signature across two columns like this. One where you have the headshot on the left-hand side and the information on the right-hand side. So there is a workaround for that and it's pretty simple. There's just a few additional steps. So what you're gonna go do is go to Google Docs, which if you're familiar with Google already, you're more than likely familiar with Google Docs. And what you wanna do is insert a table with two columns. So what we'll do here is design the signature in this table then copy and paste it into the Google signature section. So in the left hand column, you can insert your image by clicking insert image, find the image that you wish to use, then upload it. Now to readjust, you can either drag the corner like this, or you can go to the crop button and select a resize and size to your liking. Now, just so you know, Google typically prefers images 100 by 100, and you can just double check this sizing by Googling it as well. Now to fill out the content on the right-hand column, you can do one of two things. So you can either fill out all of this information within this table itself, or you can do it within Google once it's copied and pasted over. But for the sake of this tutorial, I'm gonna do it within the table. Now to start, you'll need to drag the middle line over closer to your image, just so your text and icons can appear closer to the image and they're not too weirdly too far away. Then you can fill out your name and adjust that to your liking when it comes to the sizing, fonts and color. Underneath that, you can write something like your job title or maybe your location. A location is pretty helpful, especially as a UGC creator, so brands know what city you live in, should they have local campaigns and whatnot. Then you'll need your social media icons. Now you can either search for social media icons for email signature, or you can create your own in Canva. But I recently found this super awesome website that literally allows you to fully customize social media icons. You can literally pick the style and color and download it as a PNG. Now when you bring them into the doc, you will need to go to image, upload and resize each icon to fit. I personally resize these to 50 by 50, but you can just play around to find what works for you. Now from here, you can actually already link the icons or you can do that in the Gmail signature section as well. But to do it within this table, you'll just simply highlight the icon, click the link icon and type in your website or social media address. So now everything is linked and you won't need to do it in Gmail. One last thing before moving the signature into the Gmail signature section, we will need to remove the table that's around the photo and text. You can do this by highlighting each line individually and changing the border color to white, or you can change the line size to zero. Now, if you wanna keep the line in the middle, you totally can for an extra styling touch, but it's not necessary. Then you will highlight everything that we just created within this document from both sides of the table and paste that into Gmail. Then for whatever reason, you might need to format or tweak a couple of things within the signature section, but for the most part, it looks pretty good. When you hover over your links, you will see that the information did transfer from the links that you created in the doc sheet. 
But if you wanna link it from here, all you will do is just do the same thing. You'll highlight each icon individually, click the link icon and type in your link. Now, once everything looks good, you can choose to set this as your default or just have it as another signature based on the brand that you're sending it to. Then when you go to compose your email, it'll auto populate with that email signature. And just like that, you have a professional looking link clickable email signature in Gmail that is sure to capture attention and scream professionalism in your email correspondences. So when creating your email signature, here are some bonus tips to perfect your email signature. The first one being to keep it simple and avoid clutter. Too many colors or fonts can totally overwhelm the reader. Second one is to optimize for mobile. So you just wanna test your signature on mobile devices. It should be easy to tap on the links and read without zooming in. The third one is consistency. So you wanna use a design that aligns with your other branding elements because at the end of the day, consistency builds trust. And tip four is to update. So you wanna revisit your signature every few months to update any changes in your contact details or your social media links. By following these best practices, you ensure that every email you send reinforces your professional image and drives engagement. And as always, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button so you never miss another tip on how to boost your online presence, whether it's making money online, mastering UGC, or excelling in affiliate marketing. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.